Dwayne Leslie says recent laws in Europe are setting a dangerous precedent. We asked him to explain. Here in the United States, we're fortunate to enjoy significant levels of religious freedom. However, we are noticing a disturbing trend is there is an increase in anti-religion laws being enacted in Europe. Here in the International Religious Liberty Association, we're tracking these trends specifically against religious minorities because we're seeing a distinguishing factor between older and established religions and the ones that are newer or have fewer members or deemed foreign. We think this sets a dangerous precedent. Recently, Congressman Heath Schuler and Trent Franks sent a letter to uh, the French Prime Minister expressing their concern about anti-religion laws in France and the treatment of religious minorities there. We're also seeing examples, as we've seen in Hungary, where uh, all but 14 of the largest, more established religions were recently deregistered. Unfortunately, the Adventist Church was included in that group, and again, the older religions were the ones that were protected. Again, these are just two examples of anti-religion sentiment that's going on throughout the world, and why we have to be very uh, strong advocates for religious freedom and protecting the rights to worship freely, regardless of the size or status of each religion.